Yeah, and a massive, massive Merry Christmas to you all. It's officially my day 25, although I did open day 24 on day 25. <laughs> but I've done my day 24 square. Here it is. It's called Berlin. And I have discovered, I think I've made uh, two cities the same city twice but because the yarn is also different no one's ever going to notice and I'd have to search it down to find out which one it was so there we go sorry um there's people in the the kitchen I've got an open plan like lounge dining room kitchen so um it is Christmas dinner time so there's people in the kitchen my son's making homemade bread and finishing a few things so I'm happy with that so, this is what I've been so excited about. Opening 25, the big one. It's all squiggly and squished because I've been looking at it so often. I can't wait. Merry Christmas. From Woolen Witch. Here we go. Oh, it's in a little project bag. Oh, and it's in, oh, it's got lots of little gifts in it. There's a lint Christmas teddy bear. Chocolate. Sorry if it's noisy. Ah, oh, and it's a little whip. Thing for I think it's do you know for when you wind yarn round so it's got lace you wrap it you can wrap it around 16 times fingering 14 four ply 14 sport 12 double knit 11 R and 8 chunky 7 super chunky five to six times so I suppose it's for when you have yarn you don't know what it is you wind it round and that's what determines and you can make it into do you know put it on your project bag or whatever oh I like that that's brilliant Useful too. Another one. Ooh, how sweet is that? Or cool is that? That's so pretty. It's a pin. It's got the... Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Ooh. And, just let me make sure I've got everything. Here's the yarn. Wow, that's nice. Got yellow in it, but that's okay. But it does have a lot of the other colours. It looks kind of similar, eh? Ooh, to, oh, maybe not. But got some of the similar colours. So this is going to be my joining colour. And it's going to be my, hopefully there's enough, um, hand dye, gentle hand wash, dry flat. Colour me bleed with sock, four ply, 80%, merino, 20%, nylon, 400 metres. That's what I was looking for. So I should, with any luck, be able to um, join and make a border with this. Awesome! I'm happy with that. And a cute little bag too. Brilliant! Let me just get rid of this. Okay, so I'm going to show you some Christmas presents I got. Now, I'm not showing you everything. I'm only showing you things that are relating to crochet so I got crochet borders which looks great look at that so I've had a little browse through there's tons of them this book's by E.D. Ekman so I'm happy with that I've already got this one marked this is crochet every which we stitch dictionary now this you get by crochet bibles or stitch bibles this has only got 125 essentials essential essential stitches to crochet but 
um, I got this because it's not so much the stitches as in it shows you how to shape everything so it shows you how to decrease increase on the sides and it also shows you how to do it in the middle of a project so I thought shaping is something that I don't have a clue about and there's lots of stitches to choose from that mesh one I had I had marked this morning because um, I bought cotton to make a, a what do you call it like a do you know like a tunic for over togs and or swimming costume and shorts and things but there's loads and it, I thought that's really useful so this is something kind of not a stitch bible more of how to design or make things keep the pattern going and shape them I got now I'm not in a rush to use this but it will be getting used Ta -da! it's the Adi Express king size so I've got this indulge your hands so yeah I'm going to give this a try for hats and things and I might actually try making squares for a knitted blanket because you know what I'm like with blankets I just can't stop making them and apparently it's nice to make a knitted one but still do crochet, crochet borders and then I'll pick something from my book this will be a way off though I do have a lot of other things I have to do and crochet related this now it doesn't look very crochet but I'm about to pause just for a minute I'm back look it's got little crochet squares how cute is that I got a new crochet mug I don't know if we could get those top ones to appear anymore because I didn't fill it too much no if it filled it more it would have worked I'm delighted with that so hope everyone's been good I will uh, not be or I don't know when I'll be back on I'll definitely be back on New Year's Day with Julie the whippy chick I'm sure sure Julie will do some more plugging of it and um, to get a notification it'd probably be a good idea if you subscribe to Julie the Whippy Chick if you can and click notifications all and failing that do it to me and I'll try to see if I can message something yep yeah, so I'm happy day 25 little prezies included and uh, I'm off have a lovely time everyone. Thanks again to everyone who's joined. And um, yeah, it's still, still Christmas Eve in some places. So, ta-ra. Cheerio. Be good. See ya.